Um, may not, could you introduce yourself at first and then? Oh, yes, then, of yeah. course. Yeah. First of all, good morning and good afternoon, of course, everyone. Uh, nice to see you all here. My name is Melina, PhD candidate of Iran University of Medical Science. And today I'm going to talk about a very fascinating, um, you know, article. Uh, if you let me start or I should wait, I don't know. Yeah, you can get started. Okay. Uh, well, let me see here. Okay. Uh, this work is actually supervised by Professor Melika Radisik and uh, Professor Peter Zandestra. Uh, as you can see that um, Dr. Radisik, Professor Radisik uh, is a principal investigator of uh, functional tissue engineering and cardiovascular regener regeneration. Uh, she has the H index of uh, 61 and over 13,000 citations. Uh, well, I guess uh, her husband, um, Professor Peter Zandestra, uh, is, um, uh, I think, uh, a professor in uh, University of Pr um, British Columbia, and uh, he has H index of uh, 67, and um, I think over uh, 60, no, no, over 16.5 thousand times uh, citation. Well, uh, the journal, uh, let me first talk about the journal uh, that this uh, article is published in. Uh, the journal name is um, actually a scientific report. And um, although uh, this is very, uh, this journal is very, uh, very well reputed, um, you know, amongst researchers, but actually it has um, somehow low impact factor of four. But, you know, uh, the articles um, published in it are very, you know, uh, um, are actually high quality and they are innovative. Well, uh, before I start to talk about uh, the article, um, I sh uh, show you the title of it at the beginning. I want to talk about uh, the group's previous job, uh, which is actually related to uh, the one I want to talk about. Um, the title, as you can see, the title, uh, Design and for, um, Formulation of Functional Pluripotent Stem Cell Driving Cardiac and Necrotic tissues. Uh, well, you, we know that um, you know a robust and um, uh, actually, um, sorry, I have I think it, uh, a robust and uh, productive um, in vitro model of human uh, any human tissue, for example, brain or uh, especially heart that we are talking about here, uh, is a key to develop a uh, new uh, drugs and uh, treatment uh, for the diseases. So um, there are, uh, you know, actually recently uh, researchers are uh, trying to put away uh, working on uh, animal models and they are trying to make uh, some micro tissues, uh, something like um, doing some, you know, making some uh, microfluidic things to uh, actually prevent using um, animal models. And uh, they want to um, recapitulate actually the um, accurate niche. Uh, on, uh, you know, they want to uh, design uh, better and better um, niches for these, uh, for example, in, in these microfluidic or uh, microstructures or, uh, for example, organoids. Uh, here, as you can see, uh, I just put some, um, you know, photos of this article. Uh, as you can see that uh, on the up, uh, upper side, uh, there is a, a uniaxial tissue uh, geometry and, and, uh, and the downward of it, uh, there is a, um, actually a biaxial tissue geometry. And, you know, uh, I think, you know, the group uh, just uh, designed and uh, 3D printed the, uh, you know, these um, uh, materials, uh, not materials, these chips, and then they uh, see that some, uh, you know, uh, in this picture, you can see that they uh, predicted, they actually used uh, computational aided um, ways to predict um, that, um, you know, the, the, to predict the alignment of the cells uh, on the um, for example, chips. Uh, 
And um, in the picture C, you can see the real um, position and the alignment of the um, cells by, um, you know, somehow dying uh, alpha catenin. And in D, again, and in D, and the other one, you can see that um, the real photos, and uh, A and B, are actually predictions. Uh, D and C uh, and uh, the other one are, um, you know, the real one that you can see uh, all cells uh, actually uh, by, um, see you, by dying uh, alpha catenin and uh, cardiac troponin uh, T. You can see that uh, these cells are, are aligned. And, you know, uh, we all know that uh, in heart alignment, cell alignment and electrical uh, conduction are uh, very important for contraction. So uh, scientists always try to uh, have better alignment and, um, you know, uh, electrical conductivity. conductivity. Uh, here uh, you can see, uh, of course, uh, this is not actually the um, article, but uh, it was very interesting for me and then I wanted to share it with you. Uh, you can see that uh, in these uh, photos, uh, they are actually taken uh, by uh, passing the um, electrical field uh, through these um, uh, microfluidic, uh, you know, uh, microfluidic devices, and um, as you can see here, uh, let me. Uh, uh, I don't know whether you see my pointer or not. Uh, in the in this part, arrhythmia. Uh, we, uh, you know, and they, the group, you know, the team said that uh, in the article, they said that uh, when we have arrhythmia, uh, the electrical field just passes again and repeatedly passes uh, through the uh, field but when uh, we have uh, of course I have the um, uh, video uh, of them uh, if I if we have time I will show you because the videos are in the supplementary and if anyone wants to see uh, anyone uh, like it can go and see okay uh, if they if uh, after uh, you know uh, they have arrhythmia they uh, do some uh, defibril defibrillation and uh, make the um, uh, make the you know uh, fields uh, go like this you know uh, when uh, we have normal rhythm uh, electrical fields go and then uh, from two parts in heart it is like this we have two spots they start from uh, one spot and then go to another but if we have arrhythmia problem in heart uh, the rhythm uh, just goes past and past and, you know, um, using these kind of um, devices can help us, um, you know, uh, working on new drugs, working on, uh, and, um, you know, diseases and problems. Uh, now, if we want to talk about our, uh, you know, our, uh, the, cho uh, the article that I chose, um, you can see that uh, we know, we all know that a robust and, what I said before, a robust and productive in vitro model of human cardiac tissue or any tissue can be a way to uh, develop drugs or um, working on uh, diseases. Uh, now, this uh, kind of uh, device, this kind of devices uh, have some limitations. Uh, in their fabrication, for example, the using them is very high. You know, um, using them uh, needs uh, um, uh, uses a lot of high high costs, and uh, costs a lot. Sorry, uh, using of them costs a lot, and uh, because uh, they need uh, to use clean room, they need to have a, a big number of cells working with big number of cells to have a high fidelity, uh, and uh, for example, they lack a long-term function, function and viability they uh, they will lose their function uh, after a while uh, and uh, they have challenges uh, due to imaging and for example when um, they want to uh, make some images out of them they have to transfer the tissues and uh, this can uh, make problem for the uh, scientists it's, it has complication because uh, moving cells is you know actually you all know that it has problem and um, about this viability I can say even in this um, article uh, the, uh, the um, you know um, author said that um, it um, 
and you know, the cells could keep uh, could uh, keep their function and viability for I think uh, 48 hours uh, that they analyzed analyzed them, and this is not you know actually very much. Uh, you know, uh, if I want to, you know, complete my, uh, if I want to tell you uh, an example of the, for example, uh, of the, um, the limitations, uh, here we can say, we can uh, say that uh, miniaturized uh, uh, cardiac organoids, for example, the one I showed uh, before, or uh, Organisms that they are working, uh, you know, scientists are working on it uh, using photolithography and micro machining uh, has limitation. Uh, for example, manufacturing and uh, manufacture of these organisms by these uh, methods uh, need high level of skill. Uh, it's not what uh, uh, exists in all the um, laboratories, uh, and uh, these methods are uh, restrictive to specific design geometries. For example, uh, the walls could be uh, whether my, in micrometer or in centimeter, not both of them. Uh, they are occasionally expensive. As I said, they need clean room. They need uh, a lot of uh, the big number of cell, huge number of cells. And adaptation to ex uh, existing uh, tissue culture and again, taking, taking um, you know, images uh, of them. And uh, these are uh, actually problems. Now, uh, in this article, uh, Dr. Radising and her team uh, tried to, um, you know, design a very innovative and uh, I find it very interesting um, organoid. Uh, it is called uh, cardiac comery uh, for micro and uh, cardiac micro ring. Uh, sorry, comedy for cardiac micro ring. Um, actually, it is a 3D printing based uh, 96, t, uh, 96 uh, well plate screening uh, platform. Uh, what does it mean? It means that um, they are organoids, um, you know, actually made in a 960 well plate so that uh, by uh, using different kinds of um, drugs, by um, having a different kind of situation and uh, the scientists uh, can check uh, you know check the um, changes in him uh, in them uh, actually um, you know uh, they are self uh, self-organized as i will say uh, how and uh, they can uh, you know the contractile force measurement can be done uh, through them uh, you know for heart tissue uh, contractive uh, contractive force measurement is very important there are uh, different uh, drugs that help uh, heart contract better or uh, you know uh, contract you know less uh, with less force uh, for uh, examining them uh, it is very important to check a uh, contractile force measurement and uh, now uh, presently of course before this uh, innovative uh, platform that they had made it was very hard to measure contractile force uh, this um, platform is very uh, simple to manufacture and, um, you know, uh, they made it somehow automated. Uh, they, uh, you know, they, I think uh, they aimed to do it. They aim to use this uh, platform for, a, uh, you know, variety of changes. So uh, they needed to check them uh, automatically automatically uh, so um, they uh, use only uh, you know it is very um, interesting again uh, very interesting that they only use a bright field camera camera uh, to check it and uh, to check the changes I will show you uh, in the next um, actually pages well uh, here uh, at the beginning um, they um, I want to you know uh, this uh, photo uh, shows that they um, they uh, used uh, computer aided modeling uh, designed their wells and then 3D printed the, uh, it to a mold and then used PDMS and uh, to make different molds you know uh, to make molds out of it and then polyurethane uh, to make the final master mold. Uh, 
Uh, after that, they could have multiple molds from the master mold of polyurethane, but the uh, molds are, uh, you know, made from PDMS. Uh, as you can see in the right picture, uh, the um, upper photo shows that uh, shows the design, um, actually CAD modeling and computer aided modeling, and the lower one shows the um, uh, art, you know, actual wells. Now, what is interesting about it? In each well, uh, there are two cantilevers, as you can see. This is a well. One well. It is 1960 well, a 96 well. In each well, there are two cantilever, cantilevers, uh, which they have a little uh, anchor in them. I will tell you why. Uh, here, uh, the um, seating um, reservoir is cured. Uh, you know, um, the, there is their master mix. Their mix is. Uh, collagen and you know cell laden collagen they pure cell laden collagen in this uh, reservoirs i show you all the picture and you will understand better they will uh, pure uh, this uh, mixture here and then uh, they give it time little by little uh, this you know why they say it is a self organizing um, uh, self organizing uh, organoid because little by little it's it itself uh, organizes and makes an organ organoid around these cantilevers. These cantilevers have four transducers here. Now imagine that uh, around this, uh, this uh, organoid is around these cantilevers. I will show again the photos. And when it contracts, uh, the can the um, cantilever uh, ha in, you know makes some uh, anchors. And uh, by measuring the angles, they understand the force of this um, contraction. You know, uh, in their uh, article, they did a lot of op optimizations. Why I uh, showed you, uh, demonstrated you the, um, their previous work, because they did a lot of optimization, uh, the um, percentage of different cells uh, or other um, optimization in that article. Here again, they did it. For example, look at this, um, look at these angles uh, they, um, uh, examine different angles, they examine different heights and uh, found uh, some better optimized, uh, you know, a situation for it. Here you can see its uh, picture. Actually, uh, here, uh, this is the organoid, this round picture. Of course, of course it's not round, ovarian, uh, but uh, you see that when it has contraction, it becomes thicker, becomes thicker, and when it is relaxed, uh, it is thinner, and uh, this is a photo of it. Uh, uh -huh. uh, this is another uh, photo. Uh, you know, here I should mention that, um, uh, here, uh, this is the um, optimal uh, situation. This is the least uh, si optimal situation. This is the, uh, you know, uh, for example, when they uh, optimize the cell percentages, they optimize the, um, um, for example, here, you can see that, sorry, let me, uh -huh. Here, 90% uh, of cardiac um, uh, cardiac cells, okay, uh, and two milligram of um, um, collagen. Here, 50% of uh, cardiac cells and 2.2 milligram of um, collagen. Now, look, uh, these changes, these numbers are changed until they found the best and the least optimal situation. And then they took photos and um, uh, they took photos and immunostained them. Immunostains them. Uh, here you can see the least uh, optimal and here you can see the, uh, you know, best optimal situation. As you can see uh, here, DAP is for nuclear, as we know, um, cardiac uh, troponin T, sorry, there is my cursor, um, cardiac troponin T and women T. Uh, you can see even here, uh, these cells are somehow aligned. 
you know, because uh, when there is um, somehow, um, when there is some uh, pressure uh, on the cells, they try to, not, uh, not pressure, uh, it's a kind of, um, I forgot the word, um, I forgot it. Uh, when they are uh, uh, strain, uh, st under stress, stretch. when they are stretch. under stress, stretched under stress, and uh, they become aligned. Uh, and here you can see that. Uh, here you can see that there are uh, there are somehow aligned um, uh, through the way uh, this arrow is. And this is very good for us. This is very uh, optimal situation for us. And the number of cells, the situation is uh, better in the um, best optimal uh, situation. Uh, uh -huh. Now, sorry, uh, here there are three. Um, there are three drugs. Uh, that they uh, actually examined uh, the. Um, response of the um, cells uh, due to these drugs. For example, belibestane, uh, blebestane, if I'm not mistaken, uh, a potent myosin inhibitor. Uh, this, is, uh, this reduces the contractile force. Uh, nifidipine also here reduces the contractile force. It is a, a type of calcium channel inhibitor. And uh, this one, uh, isoproternal, uh, is uh, actually um, helps, uh, the, um, increases the force of uh, contraction. So the answer, the result of the um, organate uh, uh, in response to these drugs were actually uh, through, through okay, uh, they were, um, you know, right, they responsed to it. And now I want to talk about the um, automated, uh, you know, measurements, uh, measurements they did. Uh, you know, uh, they wanted to, they wanted a, um, you know, um, platform that is it, uh, that it is uh, reproducible. It is easy to use. It can be used uh, for, for example, 1960. Well, 1960, uh, different um, drugs or different situation in every well. Um, they uh, also uh, they they you know. Uh, uh, when they wanted to um, pure, for example, pure. And uh, let me see. If, uh, sorry, I want to see a better photo no i don't have it and um, you know uh, they wanted to pure uh, the um, mix a mixture of collagen and uh, cells uh, actually cell laden uh, collagen in uh, each well but the problem is that uh, these wells uh, the basement of the wells uh, are uh, actually cured with something there are cantilevers in it and you know there is a, maybe a small amount of different uh, height in uh, each of the uh, wells and you know actually they have a variability in uh, the height of the um, basement of the whale and uh, even uh, you know the wells are very and um, the distance between wells is uh, very uh, small actually i forgot to say this uh, one of the wise thing that this group uh, the group the team did is that they designed the well the 1960 well and um, the, the is uh, design is the same uh, as the design that um, we the wells that we actually have in the uh, market so that uh, when the scientists want to take photo, when the scientists want to peep at some, something in that wells, they can use uh, multiple, uh, for example, um, peepers, or they can use the, uh, uh, the way that we take images, take photos uh, from the wells nowadays, presently. So uh, because of this, um, uh, this designation, uh, the um, distance between wells uh, was not, um, you know, the distance wasn't uh, big enough. So it was hard for them uh, to take photo, hard for them to um, automatically, uh, you know, pure uh, the collagen in them. Uh, but finally, uh, they actually used a robotic handler. Its name is in the, 
article. Robotic, they use a robotic handler and uh, they put some droplets uh, on the, um, you know, not uh, at the basement of the, uh, you know, it is in the, uh, um, uh, pay attention, it is in the automation, uh, automatic uh, way. They couldn't put the uh, collagen at the basement of the wells because they were cantilevers and, and it could be it could harm them. So they just uh, put droplets on them and you and centrifuge them so that the droplets went uh, uh, in the basement base of the wells and even optimization uh, optimization the situation of centrifugation and um, you know the. Um, um, speed of the centrifugal um, uh, optimization is what's hard, you know, they have this optimization for their job. And then, uh, then they wanted to take photo out of it, um, you know, it, uh, they, it was a um, challenging, sorry, it was a challenging uh, Challenge of uh, for them. Uh, so uh, they, uh, by a bright, um, uh, by a bright um, uh, what was camera uh, they took some picture and uh, after the contraction uh, the, um, they uh, made somehow a videos uh, and by uh, measuring the distance of between uh, the distance between two um, contraction uh, they actually uh, could um, could um, analyze the way of, uh, you know, could analyze the, uh, for example, um, effect of the drugs uh, on their uh, product. In supplementary, uh, uh, you know, uh, supplementary pages of these articles, you can see better uh, photos. For example, here, uh, it is the um, steps of uh, making, uh, you know, uh, this device. Uh, it is, a um, this one is actually um, 3D printed and then uh, different molds uh, came out of it, positive mold, negative mold, and then uh, polyurethane mold, and then uh, the master, you know, it is master mold, and then the one they want, they wanted uh, and actually they autogloved it I think and um, see that the cells here they are seeding the cells but not automatically. Uh, about the uh, even uh, optimization situation you can, see, you can see here for example uh, cardiomyocyte uh, and uh, fibroblast ratio. We know that uh, one of the is one of the limitation in the um, cell culture of uh, tissue uh, is that uh, they are uh, one cell type. For example, there are cardiomyocytes, but here fibroblasts, uh, other kind of, uh, mm, you know, cells uh, in the heart have many effects, have, uh, could have many effects on the contraction uh, force, on the, for example, regeneration um, power, on the, uh, even when uh, we have uh, a heart of a neonate uh, and it wants to, and it wants to, uh, for example, uh, make itself uh, different kinds of kind of cytokines are um, comes out of these, uh, for example, um, fibroblasts and uh, so fibroblasts. So these cells even have um, many effects on the cardiomyocytes. So here uh, we can see that they have different ratio of uh, cardiomyocytes to fibroblasts uh, here, 15, 17, 19, and and uh, collagen concentration, again, uh, they have different concentration and then so, um, total cell number per tissue. Uh, even in the article, uh, the author says, uh, said that, um, for example, in a neonatal heart, uh, 70 to 80% to 80 of the cells are cardiomyocyte. But uh, this, ra uh, this ratio reduces in uh, adult uh, heart. So it is even important to uh, take care about this um, 
you know, points. Uh, finally, after optimization of uh, contraction, they realized that seeding cell ratio of 90%, 90 uh, um, cardiomyocyte, uh, collagen concentration of two milligrams, and the uh, cell number per well, uh, 75,000 uh, cells is optimized. Uh, you know how they uh, could understand it is optimized because the uh, force of the contraction was uh, more. Here you can see it. Uh, I, I don't know if it is uh, force or not, but it said the force of the contraction was the most. Uh, here uh, is the better picture of the actually wells and cantilevers. Uh, you can see that they see that if they want to do uh, by hand, I mean uh, using hand, they just uh, um, poured they sorry they poured the uh, collagen uh, cell lighting collagen here but if they want to uh, wanted to work automatically uh, they just put the droplets here on on it and then uh, centrifuge it here uh, also they have centrifuge um, you know step 2 and then after uh, i guess um, I don't know, 24 hours, uh, if I'm not mistaken, or 74 uh, or uh, 48 hours, uh, it organizes self assembles to an organate. And then they, did, they uh, you know, did an, uh, another innovation and uh, added another uh, type of cell. For example, uh, the one I told you, the different ratios. And then uh, here you can see that the photo shows that uh, it is a composite of cells, and this organite is gonna have better, uh, you know, uh, results. Uh, you know, maybe uh, they are uh, they mimic the um, real uh, organ better. Here is the uh, video. I on, uh, I also want to share uh, other videos to you, um, but I don't have. Them. Oh, here doesn't show it uh, again. Uh, I will show you the picture. It is very beautiful. I guess, of course, I don't know. What about you? Uh, yes. It's amazing. The other one. And uh, this is what I said that the and the ele um, electrical fields passes by these uh, products. These are for the first actually article. I think it's very fantastic to watch the contraction uh, in 1960 wells, 96 wheel, wells. Yeah. That's true. This one uh, and this one, I guess it, 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 it wants to show arrhythmia. The one I said that the electrical fields uh, passes again, again, repeatedly. Uh, and because the other video, look, for a normal heart contraction, you know, actually normal heart uh, electrical field, and then it comes to, it uh, became contraction. Uh, I also have another video interesting video uh, I guess I have to open it sorry okay if uh, there is any question until I find the next uh, video I will I try to answer it if I know okay, cool. yeah thank you so much for your nice presentation <laughs> You're yeah, welcome. it's really amazing for me thank you very so much. it was very amazing too yeah. <laughs>